So databases not only store data, but they also allow us for data retrieval and we can also do some uh, downstream analysis on that data sets. Uh, let's see how we can get the DNA data from NCBI. So here is the web page of NCBI. For example, I want to search for my favorite gene, P53. Basically, it's a gene that is tumor suppressor gene. So mostly the people who are studying cancers, uh, they must be aware of it. So I put P53 in the search box, then I click on go button and here we get the results. So we can find many ID entries like over 9000 entries are there. We are just looking into the first page and in this I just picked up the first two. So let's uh, we click at the top top one, which is a P53. The ID is 27686677. There is a description that what this gene is, it's actually coming from Drosophila and the location is it's coming from chromosome number three and uh, we see some uh, what they call them as uh, aliases. Uh, these are basically some alternative names of this gene. So now then we move on down below in the, click on the first gene and then we, we come up to this page which we have at the top we have uh, actually it was a big page but I chopped off into small sections. So here we see the summary of this gene. So official symbol, it's P53 provided by Flybase, which is also written in the primary source. So it's coming from the Flybase. So that is a, a database that stores the uh, genome of this fruit fly, Drosophila. Uh, then the locus tag and then the gene type, it is protein coding. RefSec status says reviewed. So sometimes the genes are submitted and reviewed by some other scientists. So this gene has been reviewed. Uh, in the organism section, we see the classification of that organism. And then obviously it's, as we have seen earlier, the aliases are written down below. So we can look into uh, its uh, structure of this gene and its uh, coordinates, genomic coordinates, where we can see the location from where it is coming from. We can also see the orientations, uh, the directions in which it is going down below. In genomic regions, transcripts and products tab, we can look into its products. So the genes, when they are expressed, the DNA is then converted into RNA. And since uh, it's a eukaryotic genome where there is alternative splicing, so we can find different alternative splice variants of this gene. Then on the towards upper right side, there is written as go to nucleotides, graphics, FASTA and gene bank. So that is the different views with which I can uh, get access to the data files associated with this gene. So let's click GeneBank and we see this entry in GeneBank. How does it look? Again, we see the name of the gene. Uh, we see locus. So that is uh, where its ID is written. Uh, length of the gene, it's 4,426 base pairs. DNA is a linear type of the DNA. Then we have the submission date. Then the definition line that is describing the organism's name and the chromosome from which it's coming. Then we have accession in the, the regions in the genome from which it's coming. Then obviously we have the variant, so we, it says 0, 0.3, So there should have been 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and since this is the third review, so we see that thing over there in this dot 3 with the name. Down below we also see the reference or the authors from which this gene is coming and then their publication, so it was published in Science. We scroll down, here we see the features of this gene, so um, we see the total length of the gene is 4426, down below we see messenger RNA, so messenger RNA since it's being a eukaryotic gene, it's coming from the exons, so the regions from which it's coming, they are uh, shown below with the word join, then within that messenger RNA, we find coding sequences. So coding sequences are the parts of messenger RNA uh, which are translated into the proteins. So they are further subsets within the uh, those messenger RNA regions. And down below we see the translated uh, variant where we can see the word is written as translation where we can see the uh, amino acid sequence coming from this gene. In the end, uh, till we reach the word called as origin, and here we can see the actual nucleotide sequences uh, which are present starting from one up till the last nucleotide and the sequence ends uh, with this double slash sign. So uh, DNA sequences are stored in DNA databases uh, in specific format and gene bank is kind of a standard format.